Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a website to Cloudflare. Whether you're a blogger, a small business owner, or managing a personal website, Cloudflare can significantly boost your site's performance and security. And if you're new to Cloudflare, it's a web performance and security company that provides content delivery network services, DDoS mitigation, internet security, and domain name services. And for WordPress site owners, Cloudflare is important because it enhances website performance by optimizing page load times and providing a global network to serve content closer to your site's visitors. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step a quick, free, and easy way to add your site to Cloudflare so that you can take advantage of everything they have to offer in order to improve your site's security and optimize its performance. And really quick before we dive in, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all the WordPress and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, next, let's quickly go over what we'll be doing in this tutorial so that if you're brand new to all this, you won't feel overwhelmed as we're going through the process. Okay, so real quick before we dive in, I wanna give you an overview of what we'll be doing in this tutorial. And as always, if you ever run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below and I'd be more than happy to help you out in any way that I can. Okay, so in this video, we'll be adding a website to Cloudflare and there are a few steps within that process in order for it to be successful. First, we'll be creating a Cloudflare account. Next, we'll add your website to that account. After that, we'll select the right Cloudflare plan, and in this video, we'll be using the free plan, but they do have other options, as you'll see in a few moments. Next, we'll review your domain's DNS records, specifically the DNSSEC, to ensure that it is disabled. Again, if you're brand new to all this, please don't be discouraged. Those are just acronyms, and I'll be walking you through the process step by step. All right, once that's been confirmed, we'll update the name servers. And finally, we'll configure some site security and speed optimization settings to help speed up your site and secure it. So with that being said, let's get started with the first two steps, creating a Cloudflare account and adding a website to it. Okay, as we just outlined, the first step in the process is to sign up and create a Cloudflare account. Again, we're using the free account in this tutorial, so if you're on a budget, no worries. Everything we're doing from here on out is 100% free. Okay, so head over to cloudflare.com. I've linked to their homepage in the video description below. And from here, in the upper right corner, click where it says sign up. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your email address and create a password. And when it comes to your password, make sure you meet those requirements listed below there. Then I had to check this box to ensure that I was a human. And then once you've done that, click the sign up button. Next, you'll be redirected to a thank you page where you'll be prompted to add a website or application. Please note that Cloudflare will be sending you an email to your inbox you signed up with to verify your email address. And we'll be doing that in just a bit, but first let's add our website to Cloudflare. So from here, go ahead and click the add a website or application button. Next, you'll be asked to enter the domain of the website that you wanna to add to Cloudflare. So within that field, enter the URL of your site like so. And while you're doing this, just make sure it's just the domain. Don't add the www or the HTTP prefix. All right, once you've entered your domain, go ahead and click the continue button. And next you'll be taken to the select your plan page. Now, Cloudflare does offer some paid plans and by all means, if you have the budget for them, I highly recommend getting them. But for this tutorial, we'll be using the free plan. It still has a ton of great benefits to help speed up and protect your site. So click on the free plan to select it and then click the continue button. Next, Cloudflare will start scanning your site for DNS records to import into your Cloudflare configuration. Now, this may take a few seconds, as you can see, but just sit tight while it does its thing. And I could probably play some Jeopardy music right now, but just give it a few more seconds while it loads. And we're almost there. Perfect, there we go. Next, you'll see a list of DNS records that Cloudflare has found for your site. 
And when you add a new site to Cloudflare, they automatically scan for common records and then they add them to the DNS zone. So you'll want to review these records to ensure they're correct. And if you don't know how to review your current DNS records, then I recommend reaching out to your web host or your domain's registrar to inquire how to access your domain's current DNS records. And because I don't know how you got your domain, the steps to verify your DNS records will vary. However, if you do a quick Google search asking how to find my DNS records and then follow it with where you got your domain, the steps will be outlined there and it's usually a very simple process. I'll also link to two free tools in the video description below that you could use to check your DNS records as well. The first is dnsrecords.io. From here, just enter your domain and it'll spit out the DNS records. You can also try dnschecker.org. This checks whether the DNS records are propagated globally, and all you'll do here is enter your domain in that field, select the record type, and then click the search button. I know this may seem super technical, but it really isn't. You'll just want to make sure all of the records here match. Chances are they do, and again, if you have any doubts, just reach out to your domain's registrar or web host to verify. But if everything looks good, go ahead and click the continue button. The next step in the process is to change and update the name servers at your registrar so that they point to Cloudflare. However, before you do that, Cloudflare recommends that if you're onboarding an existing domain to Cloudflare, make sure DNSSEC is disabled at your registrar, otherwise your domain will experience connectivity issues when you change the name servers. And Cloudflare has laid this process out in three easy steps. I know it may seem like a lot if you're brand new to all this, but it's fairly simple if you know where to go. I should also point out that if you're not seeing these exact steps for any reason, or if your screen looks different than mine, no worries, I've linked to everything I'm about to show you in the video description below. So first, you need to log into your domain's registrar. And if you purchased your domain through your web host, you log into your web host and access your DNS info there. If you purchased your domain at a registrar like GoDaddy, then you'd log into GoDaddy and review the records there. And if you need to find your registrar, click this link and you can use the I can who is directory to find your domain's registrar. Again, I've linked to this in the video description below. Then after you know how your domain was registered, Cloudflare recommends that you make sure the DNSSEC, which stands for Domain Name System Security Extensions, Cloudflare recommends that you make sure that this is disabled at your registrar. And because I don't know where you purchased your domain, the steps may vary from user to user. But Cloudflare has a great help doc that you could access by clicking on this link. Again, if you're not seeing this link on your end for some reason, I've linked to it in the video description below titled Disable DNSSEC. Then click on the Provider Specific Instructions drop down. And this will present a list of providers and links to instructions on how to locate and disable the DNSSEC if needed. For example, my domain registrar is GoDaddy. That's where I purchased my domain from. So to check whether or not the DNS SEC is enabled or disabled, I'll head over to my domain management page within GoDaddy. Then within the DNS section of the domain, I'll visit the DNS SEC tab, and there's nothing there. This means the DNS SEC is obviously disabled, and I can move on to updating the name servers. And just for the sake of this example, I also have some domains over at Namecheap. It's another domain registrar. And under the advanced DNS section, you'll see that they have a switch that you could turn on and off for the DNS SEC. It's currently disabled, but again, this is an example of how different registrars present this information. Again, I know this step may be confusing if you're brand new, but if you're stuck here, feel free to leave a comment below and I'd be happy to help you out in any way that I can. Also, reach out to your domain registrar's tech support or your web host tech support. Okay, so now that we know that the DNS SEC is disabled, the next step is to update the name servers with Cloudflare's name servers. So back at Cloudflare, as you can see in step number three, they've listed the two name servers that you'll use in place of your current name servers at your domain's registrar. Now this step will vary as well depending on your domain's registrar because what we're doing is copying these Cloudflare name servers and then pasting them in place of your current name servers at your domain's registrar. We're just swapping them out with these Cloudflare name servers. So you will obviously need to know how to access your domain's current name servers in order to change them. And if you don't know how to do that, again, I recommend doing a quick Google search for how to access your name servers and specify your domain's registrar in that search query. But for this example, I'm using GoDaddy. So 
Once you know how to access your current name servers, copy the first Cloudflare name server by clicking this click to copy link. Then once copied, I'll head over to GoDaddy and within the domain DNS settings, I can access the name servers by clicking the name servers tab. And as you can see, I have them currently set to Name Hero's name servers because Name Hero is my web host. However, I wanna change them to Cloudflare's name servers. So go ahead and click the Change Name Servers button. Then from here, you can edit and enter your custom name servers, which will be the name servers from Cloudflare. So in that first field, paste the name server we just copied. I'm on a Mac, so I'm pressing Command P on my keyboard to paste it. Then we'll head back to Cloudflare and grab the second name server. So go ahead and click the click to copy link again next to that second Cloudflare name server. Then head back to GoDaddy. And in that second field, I'll paste the second Cloudflare name server like so. Perfect. Then click the save button. And then I get a second warning making sure I really wanna change the name servers and I do. So I'll click continue. Then in a few moments, I'll get this notification stating that it was a success and my request is in progress. And please keep in mind that registrars can take up to 24 hours to process name server changes. However, it's quicker in most cases and Cloudflare will email you once your domain is active. But one thing you can do to speed up the process is back at Cloudflare, click this check name servers now button and this will prompt Cloudflare to check the name server status and update the connection to Cloudflare. However, it still takes a few minutes, so in the meantime, you can click the continue button, and this will take you to your quick start guide, and we'll be coming back to this in just a bit, but for now, go ahead and click the finish later link, and this will take you to your domain's overview dashboard. This is like home base for your domain's account within Cloudflare, and is where you can monitor security, performance, and configure services. You'll also be notified here as well when your domain is active on Cloudflare. As you can see, it's currently not active, but keep an eye out for the confirmation email from Cloudflare in your inbox. And if we head over to my inbox, there are actually two emails you need to look for. The first email is verifying your email address. And if you recall, when we initially signed up for Cloudflare, this email was sent. So once you get this email, be sure to click this link within it to verify your email address at Cloudflare. Then when I did that, it took me back to the thank you page for some reason. I'm not sure if you're having the same user experience, but if you are, just click the add a website or application button again. And then from here in the left sidebar, click on websites. And you'll see that the newly added site is listed there. Go ahead and open it. And that'll take us back to the domains dashboard within Cloudflare and check that out. We now have the notice that Cloudflare is protecting the site. That means that the name servers have been successfully updated. And if we go back and check the email inbox again, that status email will look something like this, and that confirms that the domain is now active and benefiting from Cloudflare's automatic performance, securities, and features. Awesome. And then just to verify that nothing is broken, I recommend visiting your domain. Mine is a wordpress.org site, and when I visit the front end of my site, this is just a demo site, so there isn't too much content on it, but the domain and site are working properly. This tells me that the name servers and Cloudflare connection is secure and active. Wonderful. Then if we head back to Cloudflare, I recommend going through their quick start guide. These settings will help to further optimize your site's security and performance. So within the domain overview dashboard, within the quick start guide section there, click the review settings button. And they break it down into three easy steps, which are improved security, optimized performance, and a summary. So to get started, click the get started button. And we have step number one, which is improved security. This enables the automatic HTTPS rewrites. It's essentially forcing the HTTPS prefix on all content that is still using the HTTP prefix. This helps resolve mixed content issues and is a best practice. So just make sure that this switch is turned on, and it is. And we can move on to step number two by clicking the Save button. 
Next is optimized performance. And this is the always use HTTPS feature. And this forces an actual HTTPS redirect for all requests using the HTTP prefix. And I highly recommend turning this on. So flip that switch on and then click the save button. Next, staying in step number two, the Brotley compression speeds up page load times. We definitely want this on and it is. So then go ahead and click the save button to move on to the final and third step. And this just gives you a quick summary of what we did. And although you only did three things here, you have improved your site security and performance immensely with these three steps. So go ahead and click the finish button. And congratulations. That wraps up the tutorial on adding your website to Cloudflare. And remember, the steps we've covered today are your gateway to a faster, more secure, and efficient website. And as always, if you have a question or need some extra help, feel free to reach out in the comments below. I'm always happy to help out in any way that I can. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're thinking about starting a blog, you gotta check out my step-by-step -step tutorials. They'll show you everything you need to know in order to build, grow, and monetize a professional WordPress blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.